Life just got a whole lot better in El Sereno thanks to a new multi-million dollar bridge. Anna Marco shows us what the bridge on Valley Boulevard will do for those who live and work in the area. Construction of this bridge on Valley Boulevard and Eastern Avenue is about to change the quality of life for El Sereno residents as the first lanes of traffic open for business. For one thing, no more waiting at the railroad crossing for passing trains. What we see is when the trains begin to come and the rail crossing arms go down, you could be waiting here for 20, 30, 40 minutes. In emergency situations, residents within the University Hills rely on the fire department and paramedics that are located on the other side of the tracks. We live over here, the tracks are here, paramedics are over here along with the fire department. Very frustrating for us, a typical call. We have a fire, we know we have a fire because we can see the smoke and we can't get there. City leaders cut the ribbon in this first phase of the project, the opening of the eastbound lanes of traffic. It will take another year to open the westbound lanes. We now have to uh, uh, take the wet, uh, the old Valley Boulevard and raise it up by 12 feet and we have to do this in phases because it has to tie into this bridge. It's going to save lives. Uh, secondly, it's going to help the air quality because less cars are going to be sitting idly here. The bridge won't just be functional but beautiful as well. It will include artwork like the tiles that will go in these pockets showing El Sereno's history. Another art project will include nine standing sculptures. The project is uh, nine standing sculptures that are going to be inspired by the Aztec monuments that were done in some of their sacred sites. For residents, a project decades in the making is about to pay off. Construction should be completed in summer of next year. I'm Anna Marcos for LA This Week. Councilmember Jose Huizar and his office were instrumental in getting the project back on track after it had stalled for years.